This is the eel. It's the back of the cod. This is a Marvel Legends review on the eel. Uh, he is an obscure villain. He usually fights Daredevil or Iron Man, other Avengers at times. Usually works in a team. This is basically the blizzard mold. And, you know, it's like a simple repaint they did Hasbro. And he uses the hands from Movie Electro. But I think the eel, it fits best. He has non-powered hands. So let me switch it out. See if you want to use one hand for a power blast only. There we go. This is the eel. Uh, ordinary hands. And this is the electric hands. Kind of like a translucent type of electric thing at their fingertips. Finally look good. The electro figures, they didn't look good or proper, I thought. But it looks right on the eel. This is basically all just a repaint. It's a basic, plain body mold. No sculpting detail. No standout detail. All it is is the base body just repainted with blue, with purple. And just repainted well, actually. This is one of his comic looks from the 80s. He's had various costumes before. He's originally a 1960s character, but the way it looks now, it's always been changing costume design-wise. Can it might be a little tough to see the details, but I hope it shows up here. It's all painted, and even the head, which has a kind of like a nice design to it. It's uh, the Blizzard, uh, which I have a review on. It's that figure with uh, different colors, really. It's the base body is just different colors. The hands here are closed fists. You see this? There's like, it's just a perfect uh, custom body mold actually. If anyone wants a blank base body, this figure uh, fits that type. Hopefully it's going to show up well. This looks better, showing his powers with the electric hands. See that? Again, simple repaint, basic design, but I think Hasbro did a pretty good job. Sometimes you have to cut corners like that to make characters that are less popular in terms of production. The height is just a little below six and a half inches. The head sculpt, ball joint it, can go up, down to the sides well. The shoulders, ball joint it, in, out, up, down. Uh, just got swivel biceps, double articulate it at the elbows. The wrists, ball joint it, or in or out, can spin it. Torso, good range, pivot torso there, and swivel waist. Ball jointed hips, up down to the sides, swivel thighs, and double knees, calf articulation, and the ankles ball jointed. So Rob, what did you think of the eel? This is an Avengers, a Daredevil, a villain, and surprisingly, it's not bad. It finally fits well, those effect parts. They really make a difference from what would have been a very plain action figure. And it, it really added that, for lack of a better word, it added that spark to make this action figure stand out more. Having that accessory feature of an effect blast. Without that effect blast, and you put in the ordinary hands, it looks rather plain. It doesn't have anything dynamic going for it, but this type of look really makes it dynamic. Just those little hand blasts, those electric blasts, really makes the figure 
look nicer on a display. It's a very obscure character as a villain in a way, unless you know the comic books. But if you want more villains, if you want more Iron Man villains or the Avengers, definite good addition. Thanks for watching.